Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to link Cobalt Toolbox API to Google Sheets. For example, you want other users to have access to the data in real time and you don't want them to have access to the Cobalt Toolbox backend. You can fetch the Cobalt Toolbox data to Google Sheets in real time by connecting to the API of Cobalt Toolbox. So in this particular video, I'm just going to create a simple form. Then we're going to look for the API. And we're also going to use a simple syntax to call the API in Google Sheets. So let's jump into it. The first thing I'm going to do is just to cl click on this form, this Kobo test. And it's going to take me to the Kobo Tubos interface where I can create the form. So I'm going to click on edit. So here I have the interface. This form is currently empty. You can add question, notes, prompts, or other fields by clicking on the plus button sign below. So I'm just going to click on the plus button and I'm going to add some questions. Let me say the first question is going to be, what is your name? So I'm going to click on add question and I'm going to click on test because I want the respondent or the users to type in their name. So I'm going to click on the button again and I'm going to, let me see, how old are you? How old are you? So this is, I'm going to click on add question and I'm going to select number because the, it's going to be in form of value. So I'm going to click on the button again, and I'm going to say, let me say, select, select your country. So I'm going to click on that button. For that, I'm going to use select one, and I'm going to say, let me put in Nigeria, England, and Germany. So for the name, let me quickly change the data column to name. I'm going to change the other one to old. And I'm going to change the last one to, let me change it to country. Though this is optional, but you can actually do that as well. So I'm going to click on save to save the form. And it's going to display successfully updated. So the next thing I'm going to do is to return to list. Now I'm going to click on the form again. Then I'm going to de deploy. Because I've deployed the form, that's why I'm having redeploy. So I'm going to click on redeploy to redeploy the form. And it's going to deploy the form to server. Redeploy form. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I can copy the URL and I can also click on open to open the URL in, in the new tab. So I'm just going to click on this and it's going to open the form in the new tab. So what I'm going to do now is to enter the information. So I'm going to enter my name. So my name is Sheo. The next one, how old are you? I'm going to enter just 20. Select your country, Nigeria, and I'm going to save. I'm going to submit the form, and it's going to it's going to be on the queue for some minutes or probably seconds, and you will see it display on top of the on the form. Kobo test C success successfully submitted. So what I'm going to do is to go back, and I'm going to reload the form. So you can see one submissions. So the next thing for me to do is to go to the data. I'm going to click on the data. You can see I have the data in the form. So what I need to do is to click on the settings. On the settings, I'm going to go to the sharing. So it's going to load and I will make the form visible for everyone. So let me click on this. Anyone can view the form, so I'm, go I'm going to click on that. And I'm also going to click on anyone can view submission made to the form, as you can see. 
So the next thing for me to do is to go back to the, the data. So it's going to load. And I'm going to click on download. So on the download, what I need to do is just to perform some simple configuration. So I'm going to click on advanced options. So on the advanced options, I'll make use of separated column, as you can see. So also, save selection as. So I'm going to use a name for that. So let me use a simple name. Let me use dashboard, for instance. Dashboard. So after clicking, after using the dashboard, the next thing I'm going to do is I can actually select the question I want to display in the Google Sheets, but I'm going to leave it like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to click on exports. So you can see the form is loading. You can see I can also download the form. But what I need to do next is to look for the API of this particular form. So what I'm going to do is just to, yeah, I have the URL of the humanitarian response. So we have two types of, of, of um, interface in KoboTubos or platform in KoboTubos. We have the KoboTubos.org. We also have the Kobo.humanitarian.info. But I'm using this particular one, which is the Kobo.humanitarian response.info. So to fetch the API or to search for the API, what I need to do is just to clean this particular um, information off and I'm going to type in API slash V2. So when I click on that, it's going to take me to the API route. So the next thing I'm going to click on is to click on this particular URL. So it's going to take me to the assets. So this is the asset. Now I have all the information needed for the API. So I can search for the particular form I'm looking for. So how am I going to get the particular form in these assets? What I need to do is just to search for that particular form. You know, I named the form dashboard. So I can search this particular interface with dashboard and it's going to look for the API. So I'm just going to use my control F, then I'm going to search for the dashboard. So you can see, I have the dashboard here. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for this particular information, which is the HTTPS slash info slash API slash assets and the UID. So slash exports slash settings slash the token slash data that slash SLA. So if I want to, if I want to get the information in Excel, this is what I'm going to click. And if I want to get the information in CSV, this is what I'm going to click or what I'm going to use. So if, for instance, if I click on this form, it's going to download the, it's going to download the CSV file, comma separated value. But that's not what I need. I just need this particular URL. So what I need to do is just to copy this. URL. So I'm doing, I'm going to copy this. Copy. I'm going to copy this. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to open Google Sheets. So I can just type in sheets.new and it's going to open a new Google Sheet. That is shortcut for for Google Sheets to open a new Google Sheet. So the next thing I'm going to do is on the A1 column, I'm just going to type equal import data then apostrophe i'm going to copy the url i'm going to paste the url in other words and i'm going to close the apostrophe then i will use comma to separate that apostrophe semicolon and comma and apostrophe then i'll close the i'll close the url then the next thing for me to do is just to click on enter and it's going to load and fetch the information to Google Sheets. As you can see, I have the information in Google Sheets. You can see the first question is, what is your name? The second is, how old are you? The third one is, select your country, which I, select. I selected Nigeria. 
you can see i have the gps and it's going to bring in the form into the google sheets so that is how to fetch data to google sheets using the kobo 2 bus api thank you